So this is a video for Mike. Uh, so this is a little higher, but uh, uh, I'm just going to go inside shortly. It's cold, getting cold. So he wants to go from seven um, inches high water to um, three and a half feet higher, I guess. So anyway, this is at uh, 48 inches, or sorry, 49 inches. And uh, here's how to do it. So you have your Marina 200 sends out air, the air joints together into one and then some of it goes to one airlift pump, some of it goes to the second and you adjust the amounts with your, um, your valves here. So anyway, first airlift pump takes the water from this to this container and the second airlift pump lifts the water from this container to here because uh, 7 inches submergence is not very much so this one is the one for 7 inch submergence so um, it's just a T-joint airlift pump just move this there so it's a T-joint air comes in on the um, left and the water comes in on the right and the air pushes the water up into this container here from this container the water goes down into the, the, the second airlift pump. So this is the second one. And as you can see, this second one has um, a pretty bad um, to, and flow, um, to and fro motion here. And it comes up and um, it pumps the, the water the rest of the way. So what we can do about the to and fro motion is uh, Here we go. So do you see how it's going back and forth here? A bubble of air is going back and forth. We can stick this constriction in here, if I can see it properly. Let's see. There we go. So we're just putting something down into this little hole here to make the, it a little bit narrower for the water to get in. And uh, the, the to and fro is less now and this means not only is the, um, the to and fro is less but it's actually pumping faster as well I'm not sure if you can see it but um, I know from experience that when you lessen this um, motion of the bubble here when you lessen it you get faster pumping anyway uh, that's how it's done thank you Hi, it's March 8, uh, 2022, and uh, a guy called Mike asked me how he would uh, use an airlift pump to uh, lift water from 7 inches uh, above the ground, which is this height here, to, um, I think, 3.5 feet. Um, I'm not sure entirely um, if he means 3.5 feet higher, or if he means... Anyway, there's seven inches, which is uh, actually a little lower than that. And this is the height it's pumping, which is um, 49 inches, which is, um, well, it's over a meter. So, um, but from, from the top of this, it's just over, just over, um, well, uh, it's just over a meter, just over a meter from here to where it's pumping. Uh, I'm just going to show you how it's done. So, water is to be pumped from here to there. So what you do is, uh, first of all I have a, it's called a Marina 200, and the air comes out, joins together in one tube, and then... Um, some of it goes to this um, valve and some, some of it goes to this one. And this one goes down to the first airlift pump, which is here, which uh, lifts the air or lifts the water to this little container. 
So that's um, that has the seven inch, which is uh, say seventeen centimeter um, submergence. So um, that means that this here is about seventeen centimeters below where the water uh, level would be. So it's pumping up to here, which is. Mm, 16 inches or 40 centimeters so it's pumping up to 40 centimeters and then this water here looks like it's at about 13 inches which is 34 centimeters and it's uh, that's the height and it's going down to this air lift here so this air lift pump here I'm just going to lift this up and show you so this is just another T-joint. So it's just, air goes in one side, um, sorry, air goes in one side, the water goes in the other, and then it goes straight up through through the T-joint. And you can see this uh, going back and forth that it's doing, which is wasting a little energy, but I'm not too worried about it. And um, yeah, so what we can do is, the ideal situation is this is going fast enough so that um, this is um, it's filling this as fast as it's emptying so what I can do is I can increase the amount of air going to it make it go faster and then this one will actually go a little slower probably and maybe maybe we can increase the air enough or sorry the water going to here that um that this um see the, the problem here is this pump is going faster than, than this pump is delivering uh water to it it's, it's not a major problem because um it's not pumping too too slowly really but anyway um that's how to do it so so what you do is you have one airlift pump delivering water to the second airlift pump which has a high enough submergence to to uh, pump to where you want to go and with this you could even have if this uh, isn't giving you enough water here you can put um, an extra airlift pump here too so you could have two here delivering to one here so uh, anyway that's it thank you when you make your uh, t-joint uh, airlift uh, pump in series uh, there's a few pointers that I should give you that I didn't have uh, earlier. So number one, uh, so we have the, this particular one has two outlets, so I just joined them together, this uh, particular air pump. And if you find, it's quite possible you'll have too much air. So what you have is um, uh, one, um, one valve going to each um, airlift pump plus one so that if you find you have too much air you can just open this a little and um, just uh, vent some of the air. You've got to keep in mind that uh, I have currently working one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have currently working uh, eight uh, airlift pumps from from one bigger pump, but uh, I've got eight, and I would be adding on one, two, three, four, four more to that. So I can have uh, up to twelve, or I've been using up to twelve airlift pumps in my setup. So that means that um, you know something like this is necessary anyway and in case um, you know if your pump is a little bigger for a few dollars more you can have a much bigger system if you want uh, anyway 
I'll just show you some things that you can do better. So the first thing is um, this, have an extra uh, want to vent, just in case you have too much air. Because if you have too much air, uh, these, um, these won't be working effectively, or you'll be putting pressure on your air pump. So the other thing is here, I have this coming out. I've just reused this from something else I was using it for. But it would be much better to have the. Um, it would be much better to have the um, water coming straight down out of it, and then you don't get this uh, kind of half, little bit of an airlock on it. And the airlock just means that your submergence is a little less than it could be. You know when you have the airlock. Um, what else? I think that's about it. 